Hey guys, how you doing? Um, today we have another very special kind of remote thing that we're doing and um, we have Paige O'Hara with us and she is the voice of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. One and of the most stuff. legendary Disney movies of all time. How are you doing, Paige? We're doing fantastic. It's a little hot over here, but it's Florida, so you know how that goes. Absolutely. I'm going to be there in another few days, believe it or not. But cool. there you go. That's right. She's going to be at MegaCon, along with us, actually. Very yeah, excited about I'm that. I'm excited. I, I hear it's one of the best ones in the country. Oh, yeah. Oh, it really is. It's yeah. we're, we're really excited to be there. Yeah, it's our first time going uh, as a voiceover show. Uh, Lenny's been as Lenny before, which is cool. But... <laughs> I go to a lot of conventions, so... Um, do you mind if we go right into it, Paige? Sure. Well, let's start with the big obvious question. How did you get the part of Belle? Well, you know, I was working in New York as a Broadway actress, and they were looking for Broadway theater people for this film, because, you know, they sort of wrote it, as you know, as a Broadway musical on film. And uh, I auditioned with 500 other actresses, and <laughs> um, managed to get the part. It was just like, it's my turn, you know? And it also helped that Howard Ashman was a fan of my showboat recording that I did with Teresa Lanchata, and he listened to it all the time. So I think that was kind of a, a nice extra thing that he was a fan. But uh, it was, it was a, seven auditions. It was a long process of auditioning, and every audition would get more and more of the, the directors, and, and, you know, Jeffrey Katzenberg, and Mr. Eisner, and the whole gang, you know, it kept getting bigger and bigger by the seventh audition. And then I went home, and uh, I was expecting, you know, to just hear something in the next couple of days. And I walked in my apartment, and on my voicemail was, uh, David Friedman, the conductor, saying, hey, you got to get together and set key for Beauty and the Beast. And I went, oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, my God. And that's how I found out that I got the part. Uh, and my agent called, like, five minutes later. He said, how did you find out? And I said, well, somebody's <laughs> setting up a rehearsal for me. So uh, there it is. It was great. Life-changing experience. Oh, definitely. That's for everybody. Awesome. Yes, it really, you know, and then even to this day, you know, I mean, it's so amazing. Stay out, you know, every six, seven years, there's new, you know, kids the movie and um, in the past uh, eight years I've actually been painting for Disney for Disney Fine Art um, collector's editions absolutely yeah we saw that and um, yeah that's crazy yeah the the next question you kind of gave us a little bit of it there but I just wanted to ask like how does it feel like to play such a huge role that's impacted so many people's lives like for instance one that we know like a parent of one of us um, like that's his favorite movie of, of all time and it's such oh. a big deal like how does it feel to know how much impact you have on these people's lives through that well, role? It's, it's a blessing that you know I never ever thought would ever happen you know it's something that, that's so huge you know live on you know long after I'm gone and, and to be able to meet these people at these comic cons and stuff and hear their stories and, and get to meet them is really my favorite thing about doing the comic cons and uh, it's the uh, it's a blessing that um, I, I am overwhelmed with constantly, you know, when I see what this movie has meant to people. So, it was actually, according to my father, it was the first Disney movie I ever saw when I was a baby, so... Oh, oh well. <laughs> if, if I can just get a little sappy for a moment there. So, um, speaking of, we read on your website that you were at the premiere of the new live-action Beating the Beast, and you got to meet Emma Watson. Yeah, that was so fun. I mean, I, they invited me to come, and, uh, I, and I went over to Emma, and she said, Hey, you know, Hey, I'm Emma Watson. And I said, Oh, my God. And she hugged me and kissed me, and they Aww. chatted, and I got pictures with the whole cast. And it was just so fun. Oh, that's awesome. amazing. She was, she was so sweet. I liked it a lot. I did too. I did. Very different in the, a lot of ways. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, what, was it weird to see, like, you know, a real life version of something that you put life into as an animation? Oh, I loved it. Okay. You know, it was great. And I love what she did with the character. And I love the fact that she is the uh, inventor. That was my favorite new addition to Belle. You know, oh. um, but no, it was, it was incredible. I mean, it was, it's a lot darker, obviously, than the original movie, you know, in terms of especially Gaston. I mean, he's evil in this one. Yeah. <laughs> So you're a Broadway person. I want to ask, um, choreography-wise, what was your favorite song in the new movie? I love the new song that the Beast had. I really, really loved it, and uh, I, I thought it was. 
Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> All right, and um, basically, uh, I know you, I know that we touched on it already a little bit. Um, so uh, you've basically been working with that Bell character for over twenty five years. So you do it. You paint as well. So uh, and I know that there's a you. I believe it's Disney Fine Art, and then there's a gallery coming out in um, yeah. Vegas. Tell us about that. Site, um, and I saw a lot of your paintings. Yeah, Page that's awesome. That. How, how? Yeah, we. That was another question I had for you. How long have you been painting? You know, I, I started painting before I went to acting class. I started painting around three, three years old, and started acting class around six years old. So um, you've also done Bell for the Kingdom Hearts games, and I wanted to ask, is voicing a video game uh, any more different or difficult than doing animation? You know, it was really the exact same process. You know, they, just, uh, they had me on the microphone, and, and I'm acting, and so I'm on the camera, and I'm talking, and they just put me in the room, and I just do what I want. And it's really great. I was lucky that it wasn't any different. It was what else you should do. And so it was really fun to be a part of that, too. So. Can you Kingdom Hearts is Lenny's favorite video game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very popular. It's very popular. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little more about your Broadway work? Uh, yes, I, w I went to New York in the late 70s, and um, my first Broadway work was Star Wars. And I was really excited about that. And I did a lot of Broadway shows with Tom O'Connor. And um, I did the revival of uh, Oklahoma and Zeta Wanny with William Hammerstein, Bill Hammerstein's son directing. And that was a, a huge break for me. And the mystery of Evan Drew, I did the Evan Drew, the dance part on Broadway, and I played Fontaine and Miss, which was really wonderful. Miss is like really big right now. So it, it really was a, you know, it was my whole life was theater, really, and I went to perform in our high school. So I went to New York when I was 17, and I actually would pay Fanny and the Selma on the street to help pay my rent. Oh wow, that's that's awesome, though. No, uh, we checked out, uh, we checked out the gallery on the website. It's it. it Beyond legit and beyond beautiful, it's amazing that you like the 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 Beauty and the Beast paintings. It's just so amazing that you're still tied to that character in so many ways. We'll be having a link to the website in the description below the video. Oh, how am I wet? I'm sorry, can you? I was just telling the audience that we're gonna have a link to your website on oh, okay. <laughs> on the, the, the description below the video. PedroHarrow.net. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well. Um, Paige, uh, we really Thank appreciate you. you. Um, you're awesome. Thanks for answering all our questions, and um, we're definitely going to uh, see you at MegaCon. We're looking really forward to seeing you at MegaCon. I can't wait. Definitely. We're going to have a good time. All right. See you later. See Thank you so much. See ya. And thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.